were trimming up some beef short ribs, getting them ready to put on the smoker. We are trimming all the fat we can off of here. Now this had quite a bit of fat on this part and uh, leaving us a little shy there, but we work it out. Now I'm adding a little bit of olive oil on there for a binder. We'll get it all spread around and all over the ribs here and then we'll add our seasoning. Now we're going to add some kosher salt. I'm using coarse kosher salt. I'm sprinkling it all over on both sides and on the edges. And then we use fresh ground pepper to add to these. Get it all over both sides. And now I'm going to put a little bit of this fresh ground pepper on the board. And then I'm going to daub the edges of the short ribs in it to make sure I get it all the way around and all over these short ribs. Now I didn't pull the membrane off of these short ribs. I think it helps it hold together, but after wrapping them, hey, them bones fall right out anyways. I believe these are ready to put on the smoker. Hey, we're gonna let these set a while while that smoker's being fired up and getting ready. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's at 225. We're getting ready to put on some short ribs, beef short ribs. Hey, we're gonna see what these taste like here in a while. Now I'm gonna put them on there for about three hours and uh, let them cook at 225 to 250. And we'll check them periodically. It's cold out here, so the, and I have no wind blockage, so I may have to kick it up to 250. And anyways, we'll uh, cook them for about, smoke them for about uh, three hours, and then we're going to wrap them for about another two hours or so. We'll check them through that also. And here are our short ribs. Getting ready to put them in the uh, smoker. And I seasoned them with kosher salt and fresh ground pepper. Hey, we'll get them in here and we'll let them go for about three hours. I'm going to first set it at 225. the meat side down right now and I tell you what it looks like I need another glass cleaner oh it's just been too cold to do it though it's it's cold this morning the wind's blowing a little bit but we had a hankering for beef ribs okay I think it's time to open this up and see uh, see what it's looking like give them a little spritz maybe Ooh, look at that smoke now let me adjust my sprayer on the spritter. Spritting spritz. Get it primed. I didn't even prime it. Ah yeah, I think that's gonna work right there. Let's uh, see if this is, oh look at that. Them are looking really good. Yeah, let's see if we can get a little better visual there. Zoom in. Look at that. That looks awesome. Boy, the color and everything. Now these have been on here about an hour. And we'll come back here in a, about another hour and see. We're going to let them cook like this for about three hours. I think they're turned to wrap. They've been in there just about three hours and ten minutes, I believe. So we're going to take these off and wrap them. Okay. 
Let's get out one of them. Tell it is windy again. I don't think the wind ever stops blowing here. back coming on. It's going to help tremendously put that meat down. Looking good. Give a little spritz around here, just some moisture in there. I think it'll be fine. That, bring it over. leave the meat side down and we'll put it back in there hopefully you can hear me all right over this wind and this smoker and everything it's been two hours and ten minutes since we wrapped them and placed back in there and we had the smoker set at 250 degrees so let's get one of these out and we'll check it here Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at all that. I mean, it looks fantastic. Alright, we'll cover it back. sure the other one is finished. Alright, we got them both out of the smoker. And we're going to take them inside and we're going to let them rest for about 30 minutes. Now we'll let them rest for about 30 minutes. And then we'll slice into them. Make the bones just fall right out of it. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. 